Now for the top five best camping gadgets that I carry with me everywhere. Every time I go camping, I carry these five gadgets. And I absolutely love all five of them. I'm gonna do a countdown from the from the least favorite to the top favorite. Um, and if you stay tuned till the end of this video, I will throw in a bonus six item for you. Number five. All these gadgets I'm showing you are things that I take on every camping trip I do and things that I just love. Um, basically, I camp a lot of places that has no electricity. I mean, we have electricity at this site today, but most of the time I don't. Okay, what I do is I buy all these power banks. Um, and believe it or not, I bring all these power banks with me when I'm camping. I charge them all up before I go. Uh, I took them all on a 21 day camping trip one time and never ran out of power. And the way I get them is on uh, Amazon Prime Day and also on Cyber Monday. These things are really, really cheap if you buy them on those days. So it took me a couple of years buying a few each year, each, each time they had Prime Day or, or Cyber Monday. And that's how I collected all these. This is my favorite one. You want to get one that has a high M-A-W, or M-A-H. The higher it is, the more you can charge. This one right here, I can go on a camping trip and charge my phone every time with that and still got lots of power left. This is a good one. It's got lots of power. As with this one and this one, this one I use strictly just for my Bluetooth speaker. This one I don't hardly ever use. It's just there in case I need it. But these, these little small ones here, those are really cool because it's pocket size. You can bring one with you if you think something, you're gonna run out of power. I keep one on my motorcycle with me all the time. So all of a sudden, if my phone's run down, I can just plug into that thing and sits and right where it sits, I have my phone mounted. Let me show you. What I do is I'll just keep one inside here, inside this little bag. My phone is mounted right there. And all I gotta do, I've got a cord in there also. I'll just run it right to it and Anytime I need to charge my phone, it's there and it's charged. But yeah, I love these gadgets. Uh, it is the absolute best way, in my opinion, when you need power, because I'm always having to charge up my iPhone, my iPad, my Bluetooth speakers, uh, my GoPros, all my GoPros. I have three different batteries. I've got four different, four different GoPros and an Insta360. And all of those can be charged by these. So who needs electricity when you got all these? Number four. All right, for my next favorite camping gadget, we've got the fan. Okay, this is my favorite camping fan by far. It's the DeWalt. It works off a 20 volt battery. You can get different amperages. This is a six amp hour battery. Um, I think you can get all the way from one and a half amp hour all the way up to 12 amp hour batteries for these things. But the higher you get, the more money they are. I mean, this right here, six amp battery is just, just south of a hundred bucks right there. You're gonna spend just on a battery. But if you have Dewalt tools, you're gonna have batteries laying around like these that work. But it just slips right in there like that maybe not be so rough but <laughs> and the cool thing is i did some testing with it 
Can you hear the wind noise? <laughs> so I did some testing with it. It's variable speed from low, that's on low, all the way up to high and in between anywhere. I tested it on, on low to see how long it would go on one battery. And on low, it went 75 hours and 18 minutes on one battery. When I did it on high, it went 13 hours and 40 minutes on high. Now I actually have three batteries, so I could go a, up on a pretty long camping trip and never run out of battery power. But something else I discovered, I mean, this is the DeWalt battery. You can go onto Amazon and they have these knockoff batteries. It's a third of the price. It's a little smaller than the other one. Okay, this is called a Watley battery. And it is one third the price of this. And I did a test on it running on high and it, it lasted two hours la less than what this did. But for a third of the price, you could buy three of these and run a lot longer than you could for one of those. So I think that's a pretty good deal. And if you don't, if, if you're somewhere and you don't wanna run your batteries, you run your batteries down, and you actually have electricity at the campsite, right there, just plug in an extension cord. This is, to me, this is the perfect fan. Even if you were laying in a hammock, like this bum over here that keeps invading my campsite. Okay, another cool feature is you got these little legs right here that stick out. So you can actually, you can hang it from something. I actually ran a line across the top of my tent and I can hang the fan from that line and put the fan right at me, a ceiling fan while I'm sleeping in my tent. Number three, this is the best camping mattress you can find, seriously, the best one. This is the Exped Mega Mat extra long extra wide it's a bit pricey but if you camp a lot you will get the best sleep ever with this thing it's pretty easy to set up it's self-inflating for the most part what you do is you roll it out and then you just let it sit there for a couple hours so first thing I do when I go camping, I set up the tent, I put this out, I let it self inflate and it'll get almost filled up all the way. And then you top it off with this little uh, hand pump, about 20 pumps out of that and you're good to go. There you have it, the most comfortable mattress ever. Number two. All right, for my next one of my favorite gadgets, it's actually several gadgets. Um, let's talk about camp lighting. Um, I like to light my camp up very sparsely. I mean, I don't like big bright lights where the whole camp is just lit up like a parking lot. I like to have kind of ambient lighting that matches the uh, campfire while I'm camping. Okay, so what I do is I get these lights right here. I've got, I've got two small ones like this, and I've got four big ones like this. Okay, now the way these work is you pull it up and it's a white light. But if you close it and pull it up again, then it's a flickering flame light. This is what I do. I do the flickering flame lights all the time. So I have that one and then I have my little one here. It's the same thing, white light, which it doesn't flicker or flickering flame light. These are the coolest lights ever. I've never seen the small one, that's cool. And they're not very expensive. Yeah, these are the ones I put on my tent. Okay, so let me show you how I put them out. Most of them, if you have a branch or something, like a tree you wanna hang it in, you can just loop it over the branch. But most of them don't have that. So I have to get a carabiner 
and that way I can fasten it to something. So let's just put carabiners on both of these. What I like to do with the little one is I have two little ones. So I put them on both sides of my tent. Kind of have a little flickering flame on both sides of the entrance. Looks really cool at night. Just like that. One there and one there. When you've got the campfire in the middle usually, which is lit up, and then all your lights are gonna look like the campfire. Same color, everything, flickering, flickering flame. So I've got two of them on the tent there. And I put one on this tree out here. And then go across. And this one I have on this tree right here. It's just as easy as just finding a branch, clipping it on. And then the other two, I actually mounted on our little uh, gazebo type thing here. Got one there and one over here. So we got, we got this one, this one, the tent lit up, the one out there across the other side of the fire pit and that one out there. So the whole perimeter is lit up with flickering flames at night. Number one, and the number one, my gadgets that I use all the time, my number one is my chair. This pack's really small, so it fits in my trailer. Let's check it out. Got a drink holder with it. The way this chair is made, is it kind of just almost pops together itself. I forgot what that word. Okay. Going together. Hope I don't poke your eye out here. <laughs> And put the bag for storage wrap that around all right here's the chair I had another chair that was sort of like this it was small and put together about the same way but this chair is so much more comfortable than that chair was I really like this chair. That's why this is my number one. Easy to put together. And there'll be a link down in the description if you want to order one of these. There it is. Now, I have a drink holder. I always put it on here. The other way. Got a drink holder there. There you have it. Put your drink right down there. The only problem people have with these kind of chairs, if you're sitting in the uh, in soft dirt or mud or sand, the legs sink into the ground. But I have a solution for that. <laughs> this little thing right here is a lifesaver.
but basically you put it on You could go to a sandy beach with soft sand that your feet are sinking into and you could set this chair on the sand and not sink. This is the perfect camping chair in my opinion. If you only have a little bit of room to carry one. And for the bonus, okay I hope you can hear and see me okay. I had to switch cameras because uh, We've got an awesome sky here and I'm doing a cool time lapse. And there's a goose down there trying to get in front of my camera. I'm not sure that's gonna work out. But anyway, um, okay, gadgets. Top five gadgets camping. You saw all five of my favorite gadgets. And now the bonus item, Attack Life Tire Inflator. This thing is the coolest thing ever. It's small, portable, it's cordless and rechargeable. The tire inflator works really great. Uh, you just put it on there. My trailer tires, I usually run at about 40 PSI. And I've got a slow leak in this tire right here. In a month, it will lose about 10 PSI. So I'm constantly having to charge it up a little bit, air it up a little bit. And this thing works perfect for that. You just put it on there. You you type in 40 PSI, when it gets up to it, it cuts itself off. And it also has a cigarette lighter attachment, so you can actually, if the battery runs runs down or you just don't want to use the battery, this thing right here, you can plug it into your cigarette lighter attachment. I've got a cigarette lighter attachment on my motorcycle, and it's got a really long cord that'll reach all the way back here to my trailer. So yeah, this is, this is my bonus item, my favorite gadgets. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed all the gadgets that I brought to you, my favorite camping gadgets, and have a good one, guys. Bye.